about to witness a good 12 hours of me being uncharacteristically bougie. I would like to acknowledge the fact that this is not normal, nor will it be a continuing theme going forward. Regular bougie will resume tomorrow when I go home and sleep because I, yes, by the way, I'm wearing these sunglasses. I have no intention of taking them off because I, as I was about to say, have been burning the candle at both ends. I, as you can tell probably by my voice, am dying slightly. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I just had no voice. So that's good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling slightly worse for wear today. I like, yeah, too much fun, too much work. I have a Brits party to go to tonight. So I have checked in to the Londoner. But yeah, it's a nice hotel, it's very fancy. Let me show you the view. So this is the view from my room. I don't think I booked a particularly like fancy room. So yeah, it's very gray outside. Like, yeah, the weather is not weathering. This is my outfit of the day. Uh, it's so dark, wow. Can I make this better? No. So yeah, this is my outfit of the day. Lots of you may have seen the snud uh, on my TikTok. I asked my friends what they thought of it and uh, the results were very interesting. One of those moments where I was like, I just love my friends so much. So I've gone for the Arquette snud, YSL Sunnies, Zara Blazer. I've got an and other stories knit on over my cashmere reformation knit and then some black tights and my boots from All Saints. And I actually really like this outfit. It even looks cute if you like take the snit off and you just kind of like have it around your neck. And it's just great for when you're a bit hungover. So yeah, loving, loving life. I mean, I feel like this is gonna really divide some opinions, but I'm really enjoying this outfit. I was very cozy on the train. This is like a good way to do winter without um, really feeling like you're doing winter, like no puffy coat and stuff like that. I didn't want a lot of bulky stuff to travel up in. So this is actually like chef's kiss. This is the rest of the room. I really like all of the kind of wooden paneling we've got going on in here. So many mirrors, so many. Um, but I love this hotel for the bathroom. Already started making myself at home. Got all the way here, realized my tripod does not have the attachment in it that I need, so that's good. But I would like to give props to this hotel for giving me shelving, because it's going to save my actual life. Also now heavily considering like a green or blue dark tile for the upstairs bathroom when it's done because this is this is delicious i'm obsessed with this bathroom if i can't have a dark goth girl dressing room i am gonna have a dark goth girl ensuite bathroom and this is my dress for the evening let's give you a little sneak peek i mean you can't really see too much but there's some lace there is some lace and there's some feathers. It's so gorgeous. So as I said, I'm going to a Brits after party. So the Warner party um, is being hosted partly by Killian and they have invited me, which is so nice of them. You guys will know I love the fragrances and they've sent me some things, which I'm really excited to open. Let's have a little look, shall we? Oh, I don't have this one. Oh my gosh. If you've been watching the vlogs for even a little while, you'll know that Killian fragrances are some of my all time favorites. Love Don't Be Shy and Moonlight in Heaven are my favorites so far. But I always love trying new ones. This one is Can't Stop Loving You. Oh, the packaging is just stunning. Oh my God, yes, it's Angel Share. This is another one that I have and absolutely adore it smells like toffee apples it's so delicious can't wait to smell this one it smells like a fruity marshmallow so nice really soft really vanilla-y okay i'm gonna get into a dressing gown and start getting ready because we have a lot of work to do my hair is actually not looking its best it has kind of changed recently and i can't go as long between washes so i think i might go for maybe like a wet look wet looks not my area of expertise so this could go really wrong i'm in the dressing gown i put my tan on this morning i used the saint tropez self tan luxe body serum and the tan is coming out very nicely i also just rinsed my hands off because you don't want to leave that on for the full time. And I wiped my hands on this towel and honestly, look, it's perfect. 
There is literally like no transfer on this tan, it's wild. I'm a big, big fan of that one. It reminds me of Purity Gel, which is my all time favorite tanning product, but it has like more skincare benefits in it. I have curled the hair. It looks cute. I did like one thingy one way, one thingy the other wrap, you know, you know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean, because otherwise it makes zero sense. Um, and now I've kind of mapped out the shape of the half wet look I'm not going for like a full wet look um and I'm just gonna make a star keep me in your thoughts I've got some vo5 mega hold gel spray which I picked up uh I also have oil um because I wanted it to be kind of like I think I'm gonna really oil the ends and then put like a high shine top coat over to give it kind of like a wet feel but without like having to wet the hair i could completely wet my hair and do this my, luckily i've got like curly textured hair so i could do this but i just don't I, i'm not unpracticed at this and i don't have enough control to know what my hair is going to do in what places and yeah this just feels safer so what else was i going to use there was something oh mousse i've got my kerastase mousse so i'm going to put that through damp roots and then kind of use these flat clips to get this shape that I want so that when I take the hair out hopefully it stays in this shape fingers crossed um and I'm also going to use this through it as well to kind of like slick it down um and then I'm going to use the little toothbrush that you get in most hotel rooms to kind of like just make sure it's like perfect and then go in with a ton of hairspray I've already dry shampooed this bit because the bit of hair that I kind of want to um, be like the display piece, uh, it's the bit that like is most oily on my head because it's just at this point. So dry shampoo, just there. I have brought my spray water bottle. Can't recommend just having a spray water bottle in your hair care arsenal enough. It's honestly life. But yeah, pray for me, pray for my tan as well because Water and tan are generally not friends. I should have my dressing gown on, but it's too warm for that. And uh, the aircon in here is so loud, so I can't talk to you if the aircon is on. So even spraying water on it is kind of good for me to like know what I want it to do and like how it could potentially look. So we're getting a vague idea here of what's going to be going on. So then I'll kind of want to like that starting underneath so that we don't have loads of like dry hair uh underneath and then like wet look hair on top it looks very strange i've made that mistake before oh god i have dripping on my face oh, and i have drips on my arms oh no honestly what kind of genius decides to do a wet look when they're covered in dan honestly these days i am reaching like new levels of stupidity every day so now we have some very fluffy hair on the bottom and some very not fluffy hair on the top so we need to rectify that my tan is not well like this either it's a really good thing that i actually do not need my top half on show this evening and the dress covers it um but if anyone sees me with some really ropey tan in the upcoming weeks just know that i haven't suddenly become terrible at tanning overnight it was this moment also doing all of this very hungover also not something that i would recommend Just done a little one for the fringe as well to give it a bit more of a... Okay, we're gonna see how that turns out. Just going to have a little bite to eat whilst my hair is setting. I've made myself my own little mini bar because I can never have anything out of the mini bars in hotel rooms. Um, this is my dinner. These are my snacks. I am obsessed with these dark chocolate almonds from Pratt. They're so, so good. And then I have a couple of kombuchas. I have just put some of this serum on to start prepping my skin. And can we just talk about the fact that I have not got anything on my skin today. I literally, why are you focusing on my chest? Stupid camera. I have lip liner on and brows on. The skin in me is skin in me. So forever grateful to that brand, honestly. The hair has set and I think it looks okay. I'm gonna put a bit more product through the ends because they don't look as wet as I would like them to. I'm getting a call. Look who it is. Hello. Oh my god. Hi. Okay. 
So I am back. Me and Alana have finished distracting each other. The hair is okay. Like it stayed. The gel hold spray has kept it shiny. So it stays looking wet, which I really like. It's crispy AF, but it actually does look like wet hair with a really amazing wave in it. I'm very happy with it. I keep spraying it every so often. If I like like this, I find a dry bit. I just make sure I spray the crap out of the dry bit so that we don't just have like random patches of like normal hair. It's going well. I am feeling slightly confident now, which is lovely. Um, so we're gonna get on with the makeup. I have just literally got serum on my skin at the moment, so I need to put some moisturizer on. I realized that when I put my serum on, I hadn't washed my hands of all the product from my hair. So if I break out, just know. <laughs> Uh, it's my own fault. It's let's not blame any makeup products. It's me being stupid uh, Moisturizer on I've just used the um, La Roche-Posay Seek Plast Balm B5 Plus I normally just use that on this little bit of my mouth here, but I Have no other moisturizer with me. So that is gonna be my base of choice for the evening It's actually quite a nice base to be honest and for foundation. I think I'm gonna go with this one Hopefully it's an okay shade. It's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in the shade 280 Which is the shade that I've kind of always religiously used so I'm hoping it's gonna be a good match actually gonna do a little bit of concealer first I'm going to be layering on all of the makeup tonight because I just really want my skin to look like flawless when I have photos taken. I think there might be a lot of Brit attendees in this hotel tonight. It's it's loud. Uh, I am slightly concerned that I will get no sleep tonight, which is not ideal because I really, really need to sleep. But it's fine. Everything's fine. After I get home tomorrow, I don't have any uh, obligations of any kind in my calendar actually that's a lie i i do but i don't have any like work obligations in my calendar for two days so i if you need me i will be editing and doing every single piece of admin physically possible horizontally lying down on my sofa i'm just kidding i'll just be at home but i think i need to rest because otherwise i am gonna make myself unwell at this point if anyone needs me i will be chilling for the next couple of days before fashion week starts i haven't done fashion week in a really long time it was one of the things that i said this year i wanted to challenge myself with which a lot of people might be like is that a challenge but um yes for me it is because i stopped doing it a few years ago for a multitude of reasons but the main one really being i did not feel like I was mentally uh, well equipped enough to be in that space. I didn't feel like it did good things for my mental health and I always think if something affects you mentally you have to be either well equipped enough to cope with that or you have to kind of take yourself away from that and be like this doesn't this isn't doing good things for me. I need to like remove myself from the situation. And at the time I didn't really have the tools to help myself deal with the situation. So that was the other option. And I also didn't feel well supported enough to be able to go into that environment either. In like both in a personal and professional capacity, I just didn't feel able to do it and that might sound really strange i'm sure to some people out there it might make sense but there are just some um environments that aren't necessarily mentally good for us and it was definitely that for me but i feel well supported enough now in all aspects of my life that i feel ready so yeah we're going to be giving it a go i'm giving it a trial run uh I might do it and be like, yeah, no, still not for me. But I think it's good to try new things and try old things and kind of revisit and be like, do I still find this triggering or am I am I okay doing this? This month is the month of me pushing myself outside of my comfort zone 
and uh, I'm excited. I got a new NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I believe this has just celebrated its 10 year anniversary. Time flies. I've been doing YouTube longer than this concealer has been around. <laughs> I'm using the shade Vanilla, which is a kind of highlighting shade for me, and I'm super excited to have it back. This is the one that I have been using for years and years and years and years, and um, I always used to use it to highlight. And recently I've been thinking about getting a lighter concealer, and this one dropped into my PO box, and it was perfect timing. That concealer is so good. I'm going to add some bronzer. This is the Merit Beauty bronzer, which I believe you can get your hands on all of their stuff now. I think they've launched, which is really exciting. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this rare beauty blush. This is quite a movie tone, so I think it's perfect for this evening's look and it will blend out really beautifully as well. It looks quite crazy to start off with, but it blends out so nicely. I'm just keeping the blush to the outer part of my face. I'm not bringing it too far into the center, just so I get this really like chiseled look. And once I've blended that, I'm just taking my concealer brush and blending out the edges. Then also I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just go over the top. Big fan of just using any of the leftover on the foundation brush to just make the blush blend more seamlessly in with the foundation. I already have a little bit of brow makeup on so I'm just topping it up a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy with my brows today. I saw a photo of me from not last summer, the summer before, with slightly thinner brows and it looked so nice so I'm going to try and keep them like that and then we'll just do a little bit of brow gel but I'm not going to fluff them up. I didn't really think through my makeup for this evening too much I just wanted to keep it quite simple because the dress is a bit wild and then the hair is whilst it's messy and undone it's still kind of statement so I just want to keep this really minimal like a really nice soft glam. I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade from my NARS Starstruck palette it's a really cool toned, it's almost lilac-y grey colour and um, this is just like my dream eye contour colour. I think cool toned contours really suit my skin tone, especially this has got like a lilac to it. Taking some of that down my nose as well and apparently contouring the entire nose with it. And to be fair, this might be the best nose contour I've done in a while. A little bit of the... Vive palette. Oh, this stuff is so pretty. Then taking my Bare Minerals powder, which I'm loving using as eyeshadow. I don't have any palettes that have a really light, kind of flesh toned matte, matte colour in them. Just mapping out a really quick, soft wing. Nothing wild, she says. This is one of those points where I really shouldn't touch it anymore because it's almost perfect. But am I carrying on touching it anyway? Yes. Yes, I am. Because there's something that's just not perfect and I can't work out what it is. Okay, I'm leaving, I'm, I'm leaving it. I'm done. Let's add some black eyeliner. I'm doing my favorite mascara duo tonight because I don't even have the mental capacity to attempt false lashes. The last time I did was for the Victor and Rolf event before Christmas. I tell a lie, I did do some lashes a few days later after that, but before the Victor and Rolf event, I was doing lashes for the first time in ages and it was the most stressful. And I didn't feel like they really gave enough to warrant that level of stress. So that was not even a consideration tonight. Two hours later. Tomorrow. Two thousand years later. Okay, now we're going in with some powder. Going with the Huda Beauty 
easy bake because I'm hoping this will make my makeup look really good in photos. A little bit of lip liner and then I just need to pick a lip and I think we're done. Yeah, I think I am ready on time. Wow, I have changed because I need to film a TikTok uh, and I'm just layering about 100,000 lip products. Starting with my Tom Ford one, which you can't seem to get anywhere, which is really annoying. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out of this. Although I would say I could probably find a Jeep through Huda Beauty because they, their lip liners are so good and they have so many colors, so they probably do one. But I do kind of love that this lip liner has like a brush on the end and you can blend your lip liner into your lip or into your lip product and this is especially nice because i like to sometimes apply lip liner over lip product so packaging of this elite but you can't get it anywhere which is very annoying i might go for merit beauty baby because it's the cutest name in the world do i want to do a matte lip i don't have my nars lipstick Ah, it's so sad. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through the beauty all over the lip because it's very similar to the NARS Power Matte in Sweet Disposition. But I want glossiness, but not too much glossiness. So I'm either gonna go Merit Beauty Baby, cutest lipstick name, but also cutest lip color in the world. Or we have Power Lip Power, not to be confused with Power Matte. I may do that at some point, so don't judge me. Um, the Lip Power M104. This is slightly warmer, but only ever so slightly, but it's also lighter. It's still half and half. <laughs> I need to know. Okay, so that's quite cool toned. It's looking a little bit 90s. I'm gonna go Lip Power. And then I'm just gonna finish up with a little bit of nude liner in my waterline. Just gives you like really cute big doll eyes. Let's hope the hair is is giving. Oh yeah, that was good. That was a good decision to clip the fringe up a little bit because now it's like saying, cool. Oh my God, you guys, I might have actually maybe pulled this off. Screaming. It is nearly dress time. I'm so excited to wear this. So the Nadine Marabi team very kindly sent this over for tonight. I'm so excited to wear it. I'm gonna wear my YSL bag with it, all the velvet and my YSL shoes, of course. I'm gonna change into that as soon as I've done my toes. I've decided to be an utter psychopath and not wear tights. Let's see how this goes, uh, but because of that I need to paint my toenails. So hopefully the next time you see me I will be in this dress. I need to hurry up because Lucy and Lydia are going to be here any second. <laughs> Are you ready to see the finished look? Switching mirrors because that one wasn't long enough. This, trying not to bump into the sofa, is the final look. This Nadine Marabi dress is just, she is giving main character energy. Side note, if you buy, it doesn't come with anything underneath here. So this is my own little black lace bra that I've popped underneath. They sent over a size small and it fits like a dream. Um, I'm pairing it with my YSL bag, which is one of the best purchases that I have ever made. Um, I'm probably going to tuck the chain in and wear it fully like as a clutch. And then I'm also wearing my YSL heels, which are just my all-time favorite pair of heels. I've also thrown on some oil and Vive highlighter on my legs and we are going bare-legged. Will I regret this? Highly likely. Got Skyfall on my toes which is a gel bottle color and it's just my favorite for toes and also happens to be the quickest as well i literally just put skyfall on and then a top coat and i am ready to go Good morning. I'm scared to speak because I wasn't sure if I was gonna have a voice today, but just about hanging in there. I don't think I got home until like three or four. 
I'm not sure if you couldn't tell I have literally just woken up I don't even know what day it is if I'm honest I am so tired it's 8 in the morning um, and my body just doesn't let me sleep in past 8 so no matter what time I get to sleep I am awake at 8 and that's why I don't really love a night out because it's just it sucks the next day I am putting some makeup on because I'm hoping it's gonna make me feel no look better than I feel and then in turn hopefully make me actually feel slightly better but like I said last night so fun the guy from Emily in Paris was there yeah and also Penn Badgley who is Joe in you apparently was there I didn't see him which I was very sad about but also happy about because I think after years of gossip girl watching I don't I don't know if I'd actually be cool in that situation but apparently he was keeping like a low profile oh my god what the I genuinely thought I didn't have this I looked in the makeup bag what is happening as you can probably tell by the face that does not match the chest I am looking very bronzy today courtesy of my Sandra Pay self tan luxe body serum which got its first like full night out road test last night and I have to say I am so impressed I, I haven't washed it off I still I put it on yesterday morning and I still have not washed it off um, that that is the kind of pretense of it is it's basically like body skincare so you can leave it on but it tans you at the same time and um, it's like potent as well like as you can see I am that is that is one hell of a bronzy shoulder like it really packs some pigment it's basically like the purity I think I made I think I said this yesterday but it's like purity water but more like good for your skin and um, I slept in it last night and did the bed sheet test unintentionally because lots of you will know I never sleep in my tan I never ever sleep in my tan I always wash it off before I go to bed but last night I just was not up for having a shower when I got in it was so late and I was so tired so let me show you my bed sheets I mean it, you would not believe that I slept in this bed like I was like no one's gonna believe that I slept in this bed no one's gonna believe that there's no there's actually nothing and yes I am the psychopath that now that she's in a relationship actually sleeps like fully on one side of the bed I didn't even diagonally sleep in fact when I first woke up this was still like fully attached over that side I like didn't move when I was sleeping what is going on out there another reason why I am not in bed anyway I'm very very impressed I know lots of people didn't believe um, that it was no transfer but it genuinely genuinely is and I just think that's magical also do we love the fact that this bathroom is giving like major Slytherin vibes I love it it's giving Ministry of Magic it's giving Slytherin bathroom I love it actually if it was a green tile bathroom it would be giving Slytherin but yeah I really really like this bathroom definitely gonna be taking some inspo pics home with me gonna go for a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury matte beauty wand I did a little review of these on my TikTok the other day and actually I was really impressed by them and today I am blending everything out with my big fluffy it cosmetics uh the bronzer brush also you <laughs> have to take a moment for the vo5 hold gel like not that you guys are actually not going to believe that I've been to sleep at this point. I don't, I look exactly like I did last night. It's very good at keeping the hair in place. Um, I think if you obviously use less of it, it could just be used like a really good spray. I obviously used a lot because I wanted it to look like wet. Yeah, it's a very good, affordable little hair product. Okay, a little bit of bronzer on the forehead and we are done and I'm gonna pack my stuff up and get home and just <laughs> not speak honestly as a vlogger losing your voice and having vocal issues is like one of the worst things that can happen because you're like what am I meant to do in the vlogs mine is truly not ideal I don't know what needs to happen basically 
I've just done a full face of makeup. Okay, are we pulling it off? Would anyone know I've had like three, four hours sleep? Let's get dressed. I am ready to go in yesterday's outfit, except I've swapped my tights out for some thinner ones because it was actually very, very warm uh, because I'm wearing my cashmere dress and then a jumper. Um, I really didn't need that many layers, so I've just swapped my tights out for some thinner ones. Also, you can see my bougie new purchase of the week. I'm actually really obsessed with them. I didn't know if they were going to be worth it, but the noise cancellation on these is so good. So these are the Apple AirPod Maxes. If you're not uh, familiar, if you're not into headphones, if you're not into Apple stuff, this is probably going to be super boring. Um, I love the thing across the top, like the strap. It's really comfy. Lots of people say they are really heavy and I do completely get that. But I actually find them super comfortable and they fit my head really well. They come with this little case which puts them into like a low power mode, I believe. So they slide in like that. I went for silver just because I have most other things in silver, like my laptop and stuff, but I was kind of torn between the darker set. But yeah, the noise cancellation on these is insane so good and i have never really been that into headphones until i got um my pink pair that i was wearing over the summer which were noise cancelling never really felt like it was something i would need but my god the second i put them on it's like my anxiety disappears it is really incredible i was feeling so anxious on the train yesterday coming up here and I just put these on and even just no music I feel a hundred times better and the noise cancellation on these is so much better than my previous pair so I just feel like super zen with these on they're spenny but they are just so so good let's go This room is gorgeous. Hello. I'll do, I want to do this. Fun! Hi! Uh, it is Wednesday. I feel slightly disheveled today. We went out for uh, Valentine's Day. Did I see you yesterday? Maybe. Yeah, yesterday was a stress. I was like trying to pack and everything and do like a million things before we went out for Valentine's Day. We went out for dinner and drinks and uh, got to bed very late and then I had to be up at the crack of dawn to get all my stuff and get up to London, get checked into my hotel, get all my stuff in here before meetings, um, which I got zero content from because it's always just when you're talking about work, it's always slightly awkward to just like whip out a camera and just suddenly go to vlogging your lunch. But I have arrived in London. I am going to a little party with Tom Ford tonight. Uh, it's just a little thing, I think, in one of their um, stores in Covent Garden to celebrate a new launch, which I'm really excited about. And I'm gonna hopefully go for dinner before that, I think. So really looking forward to that. I've checked in to the Great Northern for the week, which used to be like my best kept secret and I never really like mentioned it, but I've used it a lot over the past three months and been talking about it a lot, I feel like. But it is literally my, just my favorite hotel, especially if I'm like going to Paris, I always use it every time, but I've actually decided to use it for my stay this week because it is so, like basically it's right, Le next door opposite St Pancras uh, station which is a really easy station for me to get back and uh, forth from home or if Ryan wants to come up and stay with me whilst I stay here but it's also like just got loads and loads of tube connections loads of train connections like it's just so easy to get everywhere from here and then it's also got the best food spots and good shopping spots it's just it's got a taxi rank literally right outside so it is literally that location that just has everything um and because i'm staying here for work this week i just felt like it made the most sense it also has a prep right next door so what more could i need um i need to do some makeup quickly and get ready for this evening i think i'm gonna go with like a black blazer trousers kind of vibe um nothing too crazy dressy um i might wear my new bag 
which I'm gonna show you. We need to talk about this. I made a mistake and I feel like sometimes you have to own up to your mistakes rather than like sugarcoating them no matter how monumentally uh, large they might be. This will make sense when I get to my point. The bag I bought myself for Christmas, which is gorgeous and I still love, I have not been wearing it on an everyday basis. Uh, it did not become the everyday bag for me that I thought it would, which is obviously not ideal. However, it is making for an amazing evening bag and I still absolutely adore it. I think it is stunning. It's such a good practical evening bag. It's like got the closure at the top. It's nice and roomy, but it's like super glam. It's stunning. I love it. I love it so much. However, it just wasn't working out on an everyday basis. I wouldn't recommend it as an everyday bag necessarily. I just needed something that was actually like very much an everyday bag. And I was really looking for something to replace my Balenciaga, which I just loved so much. It went with everything. Like I would take it away on a trip and take no other bags. It was that good. Um, however, I am going to be selling it. I'm going to actually be selling a lot of bags next month. Uh, we're gonna go through this when I am home because I have got to do a big closet clear out But I think I'm gonna be selling like anywhere between like seven Maybe ten. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna have the biggest biggest cull of my bags um, And do like a big sale. I want to do a percentage to go to charity as well So yeah gonna have a big big sort out, but uh, yeah, I bought a new bag which is very quickly fitting into the role of a great everyday bag, but also one that I'm kind of wearing in the evenings as well, not in the same way as my Balenciaga one, but it can still work for an evening bag and I am really, really enjoying it. I'm gonna get on with it and show you the bag. <laughs> this is the Prada Clio bag in the larger size. I did not know that this also comes with a long strap. I didn't know that. I've never seen anyone talk about that. This is the shorter strap for reference. Um, I haven't brought the longer strap with me because it's going to be fashion week and I'm not going to really need like a cash bag. But I, it has the same shape that I love that's kind of like curved. It's gorgeous. It's so, it's so shiny. I love it. No scratches so far, which I'm very impressed with. And it's got a pop closure at the top. However, the pop closure is not really like popping so much because I fill it too fill it with too many things however what i do like to do is take my little chanel pouch bag from my chanel 22 and i pop that in and then i have a little compartment that i can zip up and we're getting on very well so far but i thought i would just introduce you guys uh but also own up to a mistake because i know lots of you take my bag recommendations very seriously and um yeah i wanted to be transparent about the fact that it's not the perfect everyday bag that i thought it would be and i am not getting the wear out of it like on an everyday basis that i had hoped but anyway me and the new baby we are gonna go and get ready for dinner and powder this face because i I'm crazy shiny right now. Wow. Also, just in case anyone was wondering about today's... Wow, we're really backlit now. It was not like this 15 minutes ago. We are losing the light. If anyone was wondering about today's outfit, it was my Zara little suit cord situation. Um, I've got a Skims body on underneath this and then a pair of tights which are from Zara. My cowboy boots. I love this combo. I just love the grey with the cowboy boots and like I love the suit with something that's very uh non-formal i think it's just really fun um and then my prada cleo and i've just put my hair in a ponytail because i was getting ready very early this morning and i really didn't want to be late today the past couple of weeks have been so chaotic and i'm so sick of like not being on top of things so like getting ready and like the makeup was like last priority this morning at 6 a.m so this is the outfit also, does anyone remember this room? Because I've actually stayed in this room before. It's giving 2018 when she broke up with her boyfriend and then went straight to Paris. <laughs> if you're new here, yes, that genuinely did happen and yes, it was wild. What a time to be alive. The closet here is giving like tiny New York apartment, but I love it. Look. At first I thought there's no way everything was gonna fit, but I'm actually very impressed. <laughs> Okay, I am blocking out my face because there's a spotlight right above my head. Literally my least favourite thing. But I'm wearing a Dara blazer. I've got these black 
cargo trousers on, uh, which are like silky, um, so they kind of are smarter and they go quite nicely with the blazer. Um, I got these from a shoot, I can't remember where they're from, but I'll try and find some that are similar. And then I've got these blue heels on, which are really, really pretty. And then my Prada bag. And then I've gone for like a wet look hair because I really didn't know what to do and it's kind of a vibe. I have arrived at dinner. Look at my day! You look great. You look great. She's glowing. She is glowing. <laughs> no, you don't. But yeah, we are having a little bit of dinner before we go to Tom Ford. Yeah, we need. <laughs> we need to not forget to do that. Amelia and I get really distracted. <laughs> But yeah, we're having a good catch up because we haven't caught up in ages. Like ages. Oh, we have more food. More food incoming. Thank you so much. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, I am ignoring the fact that I sometimes am plant based tonight, as everyone can tell. Um, normally the rule is that I have to have had a drink, but um, not happening. <laughs> Look at this! Did you say that was Honey Love? That Honey Love. I love this lipstick. Look at the size of it. It's so small! That That's what she said. It's so small! <laughs> I can't see it! <laughs> I'm back in the room. I really enjoyed dinner. It was so nice to see Amelia and just hang one-on-one, -on -one, like not at like a work thing. Obviously we went to a work thing after, but just to like have some friend time, it's actually some not something that we get very often. So it was so nice. The Tom Ford party was lovely and the new fragrance. They've released, so lots of you all know, I love Lost Cherry. One of my all time favorite Tom Ford fragrances. It's absolutely stunning. If not my all time, all know tobacco vanilla is good, but Lost Cherry is up there, like maybe number two. They've now released electric cherry which is like a softer more daytimey more fruity cherry and then cherry smoke which is like it basically goes electric cherry in my opinion in my professional opinion um not so i'm being sarcastic if anyone's not reading that electric cherry like most daytimey fruity lost cherry is like perfectly in the middle but then cherry smoke is like this really sexy like gorgeous dark cherry fragrance it's beautiful and i obviously brought that one home with me you got to pick one and i picked that one because they were both gorgeous but that was just the one that i was like i would wear this all the time and yeah it was just a lovely lovely evening i am so tired and i need to sleep i think i'm gonna end this vlog here because i feel like you will have had enough of me talking and putting on makeup for one week um, but i'm really excited to bring you along with me for my next week in london to show you what i'm wearing and like everything i get up to so i will see you guys again in the next vlog and in the morning love you bye